Hi, my name is Colin McClarty, product manager here at Machine Metrics, and today I'm going to be talking about the Machine Metrics upkeep integration. So we have two things we're going to show off today. One is sending event-based data. So when an operator categorizes a downtime or an alarm occurs on a machine, using that data to create a work order request in upkeep. Then after that, we're going to talk about how Machine Metrics data can drive and update the meters in a system like upkeep. So keep your number of cycles and your time and cycle updated automatically without anyone having to manually update those meters. So you can do your preventative maintenance by um, the actual number of cycles or time and cycle rather than relying on the calendar or manual readings. So let's go ahead and get started with how I have these um, integrations set up. So machine metrics, I'm gonna go over to the workflows page. It's the health workflows and notifications. And you can see I have two set up here. So one is for machine crash. I want to send data to upkeep whenever an operator categorizes a downtime as a machine crash to alert our maintenance team. And then next, every day at 11.30, I want all the meters for both time and cycle and cycles to be updated on all of our assets. So let's take a look at the first one, machine crash. Now, CNC lathe um, is currently says no work, but let's recategorize that downtime. Let me go to the operator view and recategorize this. Let's say now the issue rather than no work is that I need maintenance, the machine has crashed. Um, a test, so this is a test, that's my message. And I'll go ahead and recategorize this downtime. Great, that's just what the operator would do if they were at the tablet. So let's go over to upkeep, see how that looks. So first off here are all my assets. But let's go over to the requests page. Oh, you can see right here, created a few seconds ago, machine crash created by me. And if I click on that, I can see that message I wrote. So now I can choose to reject, approve, etc. cetera, and do anything else you normally would do. I'm gonna choose to reject it for now. I'll decline that request. Then let's head over to um, learn more about the metering. So if I go back to the assets page, Let's click on the stamping press. And like I said, this would update across all of your machines automatically. So once this loads in, let's take a look at the meters. Now, first off is the cycles. You can see this is every cycle this machine has logged since I started metering, and they'll just accumulate. And same with the time in cycle. So this is time in cycle hours. It's pushing data from machine metrics right into your CMMS. So what we can do with this is in upkeep, you could have um, preventive maintenance trigger every X number of cycles or X number of in-cycle hours, um, rather than say going by the calendar, something along those lines. Um, this just is keeping the maintenance aid you care about sort of in the maintenance platform, rather than having to work between or have your maintenance team go into machine metrics. This is data pushing right to where they want to use it the most. So I hope this integration looks interesting to you. Please feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions or would like to know more about it. Have a good day.